Well, I decided to vlog now to start the uh, the Monday's vlog uh, for September 28th at uh, just about 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I did everything I need to get done for now, including some of the meditation. Uh, I've increased my meditation. I'm doing close to five hours worth of meditation a day. Uh, so that's something significant. Now, before, I was only doing about an hour a day. I've increased my meditation uh, uh, about four times what I was doing uh, previously. I've been able to do that for a week, so let's see what happens this week if I can maintain the schedule. Oh. There you go. The time's for 5 o'clock in the morning. It always seems weird at this time of day because I feel like I should be sleeping. I feel the fatigue. My eyes are closing. And yet at the same time, there is this yearning to watch some shows. Uh, basically, the vlog I would watch at this particular point in time and when I'm in this mood is Clay Leia and, and on the YouTube show. She, she's a, a quirky type of person that I sort of, it, it fits the mood. I mean, there are certain vlogs that will be good for some moods and other vlogs for other, other vlogs for other moods. Uh, for the late night where you're really, you know, kind of out of it, uh, Clay Leia is actually pretty good. Uh. She fits the mood. <laughs> and also the things like cartoons like, uh, Fillmore and, uh, uh, I'm back watching, uh, rewatching the episodes of Kim Possible. I've all got, I've got all the, se uh, the, I have the entire series in my library. And I think I'll be adding a couple more uh, for Halloween. Maybe if I can find some Scooby Doo or something like that. Uh, it really depends, you know, what I'm willing to work work forward towards, uh, and uh, what else uh, sort of remains to be sort of seen. Because there's no there's no real routine. I was watching one of the shows, one of the vlogs today, and they were talking about their morning routine and afternoon routine, and uh, even at the dinner we were talking about how important routine is because everyone's going to school virtually now, and even work virtually. And they say it's important to keep maintain a routine. But what happens if your life has no fundamental routine? What do you do then? Because a the routine does seem to be comforting. That there is a comfort in what we call the standard routine and for me my standard routine is YouTube strolling cartoons that's my that's my standard that's my routine and it's what keeps me anchored to some degree uh, to some form of routine so if, you, if you're in a situation where you can't have any routine some type of routine is better than nothing so and that's uh, the YouTube stroll and the uh, And the cartoons are my standard routine. That's as far as it goes. Uh, everything else kind of falls into place depending on how the schedule goes. And sometimes the schedule goes long, sometimes it's short. Like now, I was able to get everything done early, so I'll get six hours. And that's why I decided to vlog now rather than later, because I'll get the six hours in now. Where if I vlogged later... I don't know when I'd vlog, so. And the question comes up as I was sort of thinking about is, do I have something to say? If I don't have anything to say, then uh, I'll push it off until, you know, much later. But I did have things to say, so. And uh, anyways, uh, I'm looking for, look for some more packages to come in this week. I've got some notifications that uh, packages will be coming in this week. So uh, let's see what more comes in. Anyways, uh, I'll see you probably around 11 o'clock, maybe 12, uh, for the next segment. Right from my sleep to gaming, it is 6.18 in the morning. On Tuesday, September 29th, 2020. 
and we are ending the vlog for Monday. There are a number of things I can say, a number of things crossing my mind, and I don't think my mind is ever empty. It's, uh, the pauses are, what's to say next? What, what will I bring forward in terms of, uh, the articulation of, of what I'm feeling at the moment? And a large chunk of it is just that I'm sore. <laughs> Uh, when you don't do something for a long time, and I haven't done uh, bike riding or, or anything like that for more than 20 years, the impact on the body is, is quite significant. And I used to get like this, uh, in this, t this level of soreness. When I started walking, uh, again, more than 20 years ago, I started walking. I, I, I uh, gave up my car and started walking and doing these long, long hikes uh, to go food shopping. And my legs would be sore for weeks on end because my, my body just hadn't adjusted to uh, the physical activity that was going on. And ironically enough, my, my body bulked up because of that. You would think that you would put on weight just by sitting around and eating, which you do, but you also put on weight if you're carrying a heavy load. And this is what provides a large chunk of the sort of contradiction. And why many people who are heavy tend not to lose weight. They say, well, why am I not losing weight? Because your body tells itself that you're carrying a heavy load and your body needs to adjust to that heavy load. And as that body adjusts to the, to the heavy load, this includes all your, your heart, your lungs, uh, uh, all the organs of the body adjust to it. It requires more fuel. Oh, what, what, what's your fuel? What's the, uh, the raw materials that, that the body needs? Food. And so what happens is your appetite goes up, not down, because of the, 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 the amount of energy required to move the massive load. And I was just sort of think, sort of think about this, and this sort of as, as it's coming to my mind, because I used to, and I still do. The backpacks I have are very large, and they have a significant weight to them. So when I put them on, my body knows that's there, that they're there. And this is this is empty without food or anything in it. When you put some stuff, start putting stuff in it, uh, because you know you've got in, in a car, you can put a briefcase or whatever. Uh, uh, on the side, the, 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 there's some place to put it. And it doesn't throw the balance of the bike or the car off balance because you put the load in there. However, when you put it on your back and you try to bike ride or you're trying to, uh, uh, you know, or you try to scooter, use your scooter on it, well, now you have to balance that load that's on your back. And the amount of energy that that, that, you, that your body has to, to use to do this is quite significant, and it affects your lower back, it affects your, your legs, it affects uh, your joints and everything. And so weight loss becomes a, 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 a daunting task simply because you're carrying all that weight. And your body have you so you have to do it in increments, increments. But most people are on programs that last, and they say, "Oh, I'll, I'll do this, this is a thirty day fast or a thirty day diet." Uh uh, it's going to take your body years to adjust. Just the way it took years for your body to adjust to the weight that it's at now is as you start slowly reducing the amount of food that the body the, the body has. And you start reducing the weight of the body. Uh, that's how you make your adjustments. But that's over months and years. Not weeks and months. And this is where it, it, it causes a large chunk of the problem. Is that, that people expect that it's going to be very quick. And that's not. But this is, the problem is, is, is again, once again, this is our, these are our, 
what what fails us more often than not is our anticipation, our expectations. And when those fail, we end up failing. And the attitude that we need to have is that understanding why we fail, not just that we failed, that we fa you know, what was the problem? You know, it, it was it just simply quitting. This wasn't my expectation. Well, maybe you have to readjust your expectations, or you have to readjust your anticipation. Of what what is to come? And it's a difficult thing because no one wants. Well, I don't want to be doing this for you know for for years. I just want to do it for a little bit, and I'll go back to you know the, the food that I was eating before. That's, I like that stuff. And that's where the the battle comes in. But the thing is, at the same time, uh, it causes health problems. Anyways, uh, that's it for t for t for today. In, in about an hour or so, when I finish uh, my vlog, finish my uh, meditation and uh, my gaming, I'll be back. And I'll have to readjust the frame because it's too high from from. I head to the top. I'm sitting low in the frame. Anyways, it doesn't matter whether you're worth worth it or not. No refunds.